welcome back to dx explorer for yet another video um, about a nice build uh, today i'm making a video thanks to um, one of the subscribers uh, steven walters um, golf 7 victor foxtrot yankee who sent me some really really nice books and very useful books that i can read and learn um, a little bit more and understand electronics and also a bunch of used parts which i absolutely love because i'm running out of capacitors and resistors and i was nearly running out of resistors now i have a lot of them thanks to to steven so um thank you steven very much for all the parts i really appreciate it and uh, together with this he also sent me a pcb board of uh, another version of the pixie um, is the pixie that uh, well the board at least it's made by uh, qso um, labs and uh, the original design was by whiskey one foxtrot bravo which is a silent key right now but uh, i had the schematic for this pixie uh, saved somewhere on the computer and i wanted to build it for quite a long time so i was kind of uh, putting uh, parts aside uh, trying to to gather all the parts together and start building the, the transceiver and then <laughs> Steven sent me the, the parts together with the board and I was quite happy because I didn't have to uh, spend my time uh, making a PCB board for, for this and uh, yeah I am started building everything um, I have to be honest uh, while I was building this kit I had to check everything uh, just to make sure that I'm doing things right um, the schematic confused me a little bit at some point i will show you um, later on why but uh, i did felt a little bit like uh, one of the um, young ladies that uh, she also has a youtube channel you can find the, the description the link to her channel uh, in the video description down below um, i'm not deca i was watching her videos a couple of days ago and i really liked the videos and um, yeah um i like the way she's uh, um, also confused while building kits uh, she's at the beginning learning about electronics and amateur radio so yeah i had to do the same check everything to make sure that uh, i have power before continuing um i did mess up at some point but um, yeah anyway so yeah with um i'm not becca uh yeah you should go check her out uh, she's a bit at the beginning she would probably um and definitely she would uh, appreciate some uh, support and some more subscribers to her channel uh, she reminded me of my childhood when i was learning about uh, electronics and i was very confused and uh, yeah slowly slowly i guess uh, we learn i'm 42 now nearly and i'm still learning so yeah beautiful hobby anyway um let's uh, get back to the kit um, pretty easy build um, I ended up uh, placing all the capacitors most of them ceramic capacitors um, I didn't have any better quality ones than the diode the um, uh, one and uh, four one four eight um, so yeah the confusion was with the electrolytic capacitors um, and that's because of uh, one of the things that I found in the schematic that was a little bit confusing um, and as I was saying I'll show you that uh, a little bit later but um, yeah other than that um, I just checked the list every time to make sure that um, I installed all the parts correctly in the appropriate spot and uh, for the antenna connector um, I didn't want to use the white uh, plastic connector that you usually have in uh, most of the kits just like the pixie the Chinese um, kit uh, just because I wanted to install the whole thing in a box and that would uh, bother me so I ended up scratching a little bit of the PCB board and uh, I decided to glue the the ground uh, connection of the of the antenna connector to the PCB board which will later um, get in contact uh, with the case of the aluminum case that I want to build for this uh, transceiver um, yeah so this will help me to to put the whole thing in a box a lot easier comparing to the white plastic big connector that uh, 
it's always in a way if you're trying to put in a small enclosure um, yeah so everything was running smooth um, I ended up uh, placing the transistors um, one of them is uh, 2N3906 which I had the other two were supposed to be 2N3904 which I didn't have and I ended up replacing them with uh, 2N2222 um, also very carefully selected to make sure they're the good ones not uh, the <laughs> bad quality ones so yeah they have a really really great uh, amplification factor so I ended up soldering those and um, after that I just um, uh, tried to find all the resistors and solder those in place as well um, I found most of them I was out of two which I ended up putting two in parallel to get the one uh, in parallel yeah to get the 150 kilo ohms and the other one the 560 kilo ohms uh, it was in uh, two resistors in series then I placed the inductors uh, the 22 micro Henry ones was uh, the one that I'm soldering right now in the video and that was um, made on a T50-43 I didn't had a T37 to have something smaller but it was good enough um, can't remember exactly how many turns but I'm just using toroids.info uh, to calculate the number of turns uh, the 100 micro Henry inductor was just the standard one and uh, the one for the low pass filter uh, I used um, T37-6 which also I calculated uh, the value uh, the number of turns using toroids.info I placed the variable capacitor the crystal in place as well it, mm, I skipped the connector I just soldered the, the crystal to the board and uh, I'm done time to test it now so before uh, we're testing the, the little transceiver I'm just going to show you what confused me on the schematic at the beginning uh, that I ended up uh, placing the, capac the electrolytical capacitors the wrong way um, in most of the schematics this is the LM386 for example um, the pin numbers are numbered from the left all the way around to the right uh, so this would be pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 um, probably does 99.9% .9 of the time that I've seen the schematics like this if you turn it the other way around then it will be the bottom part it will be the 1, 2, 3, 4 and then on the top side 5, 4, 6, 7, 8 um, yeah but the, in here the pin numbers probably because it was easier to draw the schematic they are numbered from the right to, to left so this was pin number 1, 2, 3, 4 five six seven eight now I started to solder the the capacitors um, according to the schematic but I was actually looking at the pins like this one I thought is pin number one and then I, I soldered uh, all the capacitors I realized that wait a minute I because I know the LM386 amplifier by heart now <laughs> and I'm like wait a minute the this capacitor the plus should go to, to pin number one and as I was checking with the, with the multimeter I realized that the, the plus was actually connected to pin number eight in my case so that's when I started to look closely to the numbers which are really really tiny and you can barely see them and that's when I realized that um, I've put a couple of capacitors the other way around yeah but anyway be very careful <coughs> when you're building it uh, don't get confused as I did um, all right so I've connected it uh, to 12 volts uh, because I want to do a test <coughs> and my new improvised key just because the other one it's already packed and uh, I have to get some free time to uh, go send it to Peter as I promised so uh, yeah I'm just going to check the power output of this one uh, 12 volts uh, sorry for the noise seven hundred milliwatts same as I have with the Chinese pixie <coughs> well actually 
this one is um, a present from my friends from uh, Raw Waves Technologies. <coughs> I have a, a video in uh, one of the older videos and I've made a couple of modifications, very very small modifications to it and I'm pretty happy about the way it works. So yeah, thank you Raw Waves one more time. And also thank you Nigel for sending me the first pixie kit which I destroyed trying to um, uh, <laughs> find the modifications that I want to do and then I messed up the whole kit uh, soldering and unsoldering parts but then I ended up uh, getting another present from <coughs> my friends from Rowways. Uh, yeah, I ended up uh, building this, uh, this pixie. <coughs> so 700 milliwatts from this one as well with 2 and 2222 um, yeah i'm pretty happy about the power output um, i've tested it while i was at my sister's place uh, with a battery that was probably around 8.4 uh, volts and i was getting about 450 milliwatts so i'm pretty happy now it's time to test it um, with the antenna and uh, see how it's uh, on receive if we have any propagation all right so i've connected it to the antenna going through the sputnik and then out what we can hear just like uh, any other pixie a bunch of uh, am broadcast band interferences the propagation doesn't help this evening very very weak signals right now anyway um, I just discovered an issue uh, it works fine for a while and then at some point the audio uh, simply cuts off and that is only happening when I'm using the external speaker it doesn't happen that when I'm using headphones because uh, yesterday evening um, I was testing it to see how it works and uh, I left the headphones on for probably like four hours and I left the whole transceiver work for four hours that's what I do every time I finish building something just because in case uh, something is not installed correctly or some part is really low quality will burn or yeah and broke has been very loud but yeah um, so I didn't have that issue with the headphones but I do have it with the external uh, powered speaker I'm thinking maybe there's something because of the audio filter which by the way I'm I'm not very happy about because I was hoping for some more and better audio filtering uh, but it's comparing to the uh, you see that's what happened now it works so yeah i don't know what's going on but all the parts are just as they're supposed to be in the schematic so i'll have to figure that out and see what's going on and why it's doing that but anyway the audio filtering is very similar in sound um, at least when i'm on my headphones with what i did here with this tiny speak uh, tiny pixie uh, adding just uh, an inductor on the output and basically the filtering is very similar uh, probably when it's better propagation I'm going to have an honest opinion and uh, maybe it's better I don't know I'll wait for better propagation and see what it what this filter does but I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to use it for the for the Sputnik so we'll see um, other than that nothing it works sorry there's no propagation probably if uh, if I'm getting uh, any good propagation I'm going to record the video and post it at the end if not maybe I'll show you in a future video maybe the one from two weeks from now I'll show you the beginning if I filmed something uh, with better propagation but for now I guess this is all what we get uh, yeah, thank you Steven uh, one more time for uh, for the beautiful uh, pixie uh, Thank you for all the parts and thank you for the books. Uh, I really appreciate it uh, I was really really running out of parts especially capacitors. I still don't have all the values that I 
need I'd have to order a couple of more um, maybe it's because some of the values are more used than the others so uh, yeah I hear something but not very loud A very weak signal and a very strong buzzing yeah this is what I get not much well with this one I'm just getting the big buzzing sound. Propagation is the same. Uh, but I don't get any broadcast band interferences. But right now, I'm gonna cut it here because it's getting longer and it's getting boring for you because I'm having fun playing with these little toys. So anyway, um, I'll see you in two weeks from now. Go over the website, see if you like the articles. Leave me comments, we can share ideas, we can improve something. Um, I insist on writing down the comments if you have better ideas or different experiences with a kit or whatever I built. Um, and maybe I've had some issues and I'm gonna write about that in the articles and um, if you leave the comments down below then i'm guessing that uh, people that are also reading the articles they might also go through the comments and if um, any of us uh, had different issues and you also have the solution it's good to put in the comments so they can read and they don't waste time looking for a solution um, yeah thank you so much for watching I try to get some better propagation and record the video um, and I'll I'll talk more about this in the in the article on the blog uh, probably I'm going to I'm going to post the article about this one not this week maybe in the next one right now I'm working hard to write the first article about the uh, Sputnik the first version of the Sputnik and then later on next week I probably I'm gonna end up writing an article about this one and I'm gonna talk more about it and uh, probably I'm going to add an extra video at some point um, just playing around and listening to, to this um, little pixie I'll try to figure out the issue um, what's going on with the audio output and why it's cutting uh, when I'm using the external speaker if you have any idea if you already built this one please let me know I'm very curious um, remember I'm not a master in electronics so uh, I'm also trying to figure out things so thank you so much for watching, thank you Steven one more time, I'll see you next week, no actually in two weeks from now, until then 73, have a magical week.